Hey guys, this is Navinia. Welcome back to Navinia Automation Labs once again. So today we are going to talk about in Cucumber framework how to ignore a particular scenario, right? Let's say you have written multiple scenarios in your feature file and I want to ignore that. I don't want to execute them. Just like in TestNG, we have enabled equal to true or false. You can exclude a specific test method from your testng.xml file, right? And the, from the Maven also, you can do that. But how will you do the same thing in uh, Cucumber from the feature file? So it's very, very simple. So what I'm going to do, let's see, this is my login page dot feature. And with the help of tags, we can do that. So if you remember that we used tags in Cucumber when we were trying to execute the specific tags <clears throat> on the basis of the tags, we want to execute the scenario. Same thing, you can say that, okay, this is my login. Uh, this entire feature is associated with login tag. So if we execute the login tag, it will execute all these scenarios and assume that again, okay, this particular scenario is uh, related to uh, a smoke test. This is again related to a smoke test and this is related to, let's see, at the rate uh, regression. And along with regression, I can add one more tag over here. Let's see, I want to skip that, whatever. You want to write skip or uh, um, just whatever you want to write, any keyword that doesn't matter. You want to write disable also if you want to write <clears throat> let's use skip because i want to skip this particular test like this so let's see these are the tags that i have written now i'll go to my parallel run dot java it means my parallel over here and this tags you have to add tag equal to i don't want to execute skip tag it means i don't want to execute those test cases which are associated with at the rate skip tag over there so what exactly it will do and when we run this particular login page dot feature file it will come over here it will check it okay there are three tests are available but ignore this particular at the rate skip so let's see so if you see this once again go to our panel dot java do not execute at the rate skip it means do not include that particular tag so let's see instead of three scenarios it should execute only two scenarios so let's see run as test ng and uh, see this in the only two browsers are getting executed in the parallel mode because we are using the parallel concept and it's absolutely done and then you see the result also on the console on the console you can see that okay there are only two test cases got executed you can see two test cases got executed and in the report also you will see that login page title and the forgot password link got executed the third one this one the login with correct uh, credentials ignored or skipped so this is the first way of, uh, of doing it that you can easily do that now, now you can execute the same thing from the maven command also so what you just need to do that uh, just go to a terminal because tomorrow you want to integrate with the CACD pipeline and from the Jenkins in Jenkins also you have to give the maven command so what you can do is simple write maven test use this particular minus d cucumber uh, command line option that is cucumber dot options is equal to put a double quote <coughs> hyphen hyphen tags and then in single code you tell that okay which exactly a tag that you want to include so let's say i want to include all the login related test cases it means at the rate login means include all these three scenarios but do not include skip tag so in that case i simply write and not at the rate skip over here i hope you can see that like this so maven test minus d cucumber options is equal to within double quotes write simple write hyphen hyphen tags it means i want to pass the tag value at the rate login and not at the rate skip make sure guys this entire value this tag value should be written within single code can you see that and then this entire tag value should be written within double quotes like that entire options value okay so remember this and then you run it and let's see it is working or not in this case also it should execute only two test cases so yes <clears throat> and i'll tell you there is a bug in cucumber reporting so which is uh, perfectly fine two test cases you can see that yeah got executed right and uh, let's see the report see there are, it's showing you two reports one is for the skip test and another one is the 
two test cases actually that we executed. So let's see the first skip one and it does not give you any output over there. So I simple open in a new tab and then you simple see this report. It's saying the report will self destruct 0% execution because it's showing the separate report for the skipped one. I think they should not show this kind of uh, this kind of report because it does not give any information that which test got skipped or which scenario got skipped over here. Right. That is simple bug. Maybe later on they will fix it and uh, it will generate one more uh, reporting URL over here. You can see that and this will actually tell you that how many test cases got passed or failed. So let's open in a new tab. So two test cases got passed. You can see that two executed. And here it's uh, saying one ignored actually. And then you open that, it's saying add the red smoke and add the red smoke. Both got executed, but it's not giving the exact information which one got ignored. So maybe they will enhance this, uh, enhance this particular report later on. But here it's clearly visible one got ignored, which is fine, but there is no point to generate this particular report where we don't have any information over here. Right? So you can try this simple uh, with the help of uh, tags, you can simple ignore that and from the maven command also you can do that okay now second thing is that there is one more way if you don't want to use tags in your runner you just simple let me just comment it out with the help of hooks also you can do that so let's go to application uh, hooks and then you can create one before hook over here so i'll do one thing i'll just create one at the rate before a uh, hook and simple write let's see public void and my method name is something like this. I'm going to write, let's see, uh, whatever, let's see. I want to skip my scenarios. So skip underscore a scenario method, I'll be using it. And here I'll be using the scenario reference, the scenario object, I'll be capturing it. So this scenario is actually coming from the Cucumber library. And then I simple print a message over here. First of all, that system dot order print ln that skip scenario is scenario dot get name okay and then i'll write simple write assume dot assume true let's write that assume dot assume true and i'll make it deliberately make it false so what will happen here at the rate before first of all you have to change the order so i'll change the first priority order that is order equal to zero order equal to zero then it will become one and then it will become two it means first this particular hook or sorry this particular uh, at the rate before annotation will be executed and uh, yeah hook will be executed and then because this is order number zero it will check that okay do you have any skip test cases or not and on the basis of that it will be skipped but how exactly it will recognize it will recognize on the basis of the tag value so you have to pass a tag value over here See, I'll show you the moment you write. Actually, I was doing some experiment and then I got to know and then I checked their documentation. The moment you write at the rate before press control space, it's saying fine. You can use at the rate before and then press control space. You can pass the order and you can pass the value also and the value they have given the description. Give a tag expression. If the expression applies to the current scenario, this hook will be executed. So what I want that. Okay. Yes, I want to give that particular tag that I have written. So let's see, I have written this particular tag over here at the rate skip over here, right? Or let's change the tag name this time. Let's see, I'm writing at the rate skip underscore scenario. Let's see, I want to write this particular tag name. Copy this tag name and you simple come over here and simple write value in double quotes. This uh, before hook should be executed when the tag name tag value is equal to skip underscore scenario and then I can pass the order also order equal to zero. It should be executed first. It means skip that particular scenario, right? And with a message over here that whatever the scenario in that scenario name that you got skipped and then on the basis of it will generate the report. So let's go back to the parallel learn dot Java here. I'm just commenting this particular tag. I'm not using the concept of tag directly in the runner. And just mentioning that particular uh, uh, scenario over here. I mean scenario tag over here for that particular scenario and then let's run our parallel run dot Java and let's see if it is working or not. I hope it should work. 
okay yeah you can see that uh, actually scenario got skipped but i want to see in the report as well in the test ng report so only two test cases got executed two scenarios got executed and uh, if you see this nice that is what exactly i want it's saying a skip scenario login with correct credentials and uh, other two scenarios got executed you can see that over here so out of three that's this is what exactly i want out of three one got skipped perfect and what could be the reason skip scenario this is a skip scenario name and if you see the result also you remember that in test ng also whenever we want to skip it always give the skip test cases with the yellow color same thing it's coming over here this is what exactly i want so yeah this is absolutely working fine like that okay so like this also you can uh, you can do that right same thing you can apply whatever the skip scenario that you want to apply for other uh, feature file that you can do that so let's apply this at the rate skip scenario for uh, account page dot feature also so in account dot page feature let's see i don't want to execute this, this particular scenario so i'll tag with at the rate skip scenario and uh, let's see it is working or not so i'll just go to my parallel run dot java instead of login page dot feature execute all the feature files available under parallel under this particular folder right so let's run it and let's see it is working or not okay because in um, there are multiple feature files that are available guys in our parallel folder and let's see how exactly it will generate the combined report including skipped test cases skipped scenarios so let it run and let's see there are eight to ten scenarios guys in the feature files different feature files that's why it's taking that's launching a lot of browsers so let's see the console report and uh, let's see let's see it is still generating the report and awesome here you can see that okay account section account got ignored and login with correct credentials also got ignored and in the console also it's saying that out of 13 two test cases got skipped perfectly fine right so this is what exactly we wanted that you can see that all these test cases got passed scenarios got passed from the different feature files but that particular scenario got failed where we have scenario skip underscore scenario tag is available now the only thing is i did not check let me check it right away that how exactly the spark report and the pdf report or uh, html report is coming properly or not so let's refresh this particular project and go to test output folder pdf report extend pdf report and let's see oh nice that is exactly amazingly good right escape equal to two perfect and uh, scenario two scenario got uh, skipped and uh, out of those two scenarios there are total 10 uh, steps are there and that got skipped so you can see that it's uh, in the spark report guys it's amazingly good <clears throat> it means uh, four scenarios got skipped so this section yellow section is for a skipped section it means uh, you can see that four uh, steps got skipped over here and, and yeah it's generating the proper report with a yellow graph you can see this is the yellow graph yellow graph is for skip you can see that this is good i think yeah so this, there is no bug in the spark which is absolutely fine and let's go to the test output folder where uh, spark report index.html file is getting generated that we have already covered let's uh, go to the properties and copy this location and uh, open a new browser window and then let's see awesome so it's here also we are getting the skipped contact us feature got skipped and uh, you can see the other information and then overall report also you can see that login feature and accounts page feature both got skipped over here perfect so i think uh, <clears throat> there is no bug in this particular feature absolutely fine uh, <clears throat> it's up to you you want to maintain with the help of uh, application hooks with one before tag you can maintain or you can directly uh, pass this uh, tag information like not skipped or something like this you can also do that and then you can execute from your maven you can integrate with your jenkins job and then uh, you are good to go right so that's all for this particular video guys i really wanted to cover the because a uh, couple of people they were asking that how to ignore a test or scenario in cucumber so this is the way we can do that it's a very famous interview question also so please prepare this question it's very very straightforward most of the people they are aware of uh, with the tag directly 
but i think they are not sure about uh, they have not used this particular feature also so please use this and uh, let me know if you have any other way of uh, skipping the scenario in cucumber till then take care please subscribe to the channel let me know if you have any issues and uh, i'll see you in the next video thank you guys